Hi, my name is Rainer Beringa. I'm the Studio Art Director and Creative Director at Streamline Games. Hello, I'm Kelvin. I'm the Senior Lead Artist at All Pixels, a division of um, Streamline Studios. Hi, I'm Edmund. I'm a Lead Environment Artist at All Pixels. First thing I look at is their portfolio and only then we look at the rest of the application. First thing that I usually look at for environment artists is the overall image. Does it look good? Does it appeal? Does it have lovely color usage and a sense of history and detail? Like if I open your uh, art gallery page and uh, there's like a few pieces that really jump out, I'll then start looking at like your UV layouts, your color sense and theory. How nice does the textures read? Considering like how many polygons you're using, I would be curious to see like, okay, how efficient is the asset constructed? It's best if your portfolio is easily accessible. Um, ArtStation is a great platform. It's easy for me to view. Uh, I can go in and see your portfolio outright uh, without having to go through like Dropbox or Google or whatnot. Game ready assets and the assets are brought into a game engine. Low poly construction, wireframes for game ready assets, not just the final render without the wireframe. Uh, in addition to that, good variety in their portfolio, be it from props to hero assets, weapons, vehicles, uh, terrain, landscapes, and vegetation. We like to see good material definitions in addition to a varied portfolio. Uh, texture brings a lot to the model, and this is something that uh, we definitely look out for as well. In this creative field, we will face problems every day and having people who can problem solve and who are independent as well um, helps the team out. Someone that just really cares about the work that they're doing. You pay attention, to, uh, you ask the right questions. You, know, you're, you don't just get an asset, look at your requirements and then run off with it. Like anything that you like add your own spin. When it comes to game development as an environment artist, you're not just making isolated props, you're making an asset that will be passed on to other people afterwards. They will have to use it, integrate it, and it has to be functional. Do research on the company you're applying. What they've done, you know, who they are, where they come from, how long they've been here, things like that. It displays that you have interest in actually applying for that role in the company. Look up some potential questions that might be asked of you. Just practice a little bit. Like if it's going to be your first interview, then just ask some friends who have actually gone to interviews and practice with them. Be yourself, be professional, and be genuine.